Hey, this is Lewis Dude 97 and I'm going to show you how to port forward your Minecraft server. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new folder and name it Minecraft. Alright, then we are going to go to the Minecraft.net server. So, type it in, Minecraft. And right here it says multiplayer. Minecraft Classic Free. Click it, and at the top it says the server software. So we're going to go ahead and download that, and you can exit out of this. Then go to the folder that you saved it in, and open it up. Next, let's just drag these three folders right here into the Minecraft folder. So drag them from the WinRAR, WinRAR file into your Minecraft. Alright, don't do anything to this yet until we port forward it. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. Hmm. It actually is. Next, we're going to need this simple port forwarding program. So, let's go to Google again. And look up simple port forwarding. Ha. Huh. Alright, right here it says download. So, go ahead and click it. The middle one is what I use, from softpedia.com. Number two is a good one. That's all I know. So, click download. I've already done it. You don't have to. Unless you want to port forward your soft server. Uh, click download here. And go ahead and install the file and all that stuff. Once you do so, you should have an icon that looks like this. So, go ahead and open it up. Yes, I would like to allow it. You should get two different boxes. A checklist and the actual program. What you're going to do is follow this checklist. Do everything it says. It is your new master. So first, we're going to update router list. Yes. By the way, you're not going to have that there. You're not going to have this little modem. I've already done this like 5,000 times. Alright, it is extracting all the languages, like I need to learn Japanese. Alright, we did that. Now you should select your router and set login information. Alright, what you're going to do is find a modem, or I mean a router or a modem in your house, and on the bottom it should have a little tag that has a model number, uh, a couple barcodes, and some other stuff. What you're going to use is take the model number and the actual model and look it up. Type it in here. You don't have to. You can search that list. It might take a couple of days. But I'm going to find mine. It'll give you enough time to find yours. Alright, I found mine. Double click it. It should bring it up right here. Once you do that, go ahead and type in your username and your password. This right here will take you to the site and it'll give you the information for your certain router. Mine, I don't need a username and password because of course I don't know Belkin doesn't want them to. But after you do that you don't have to set your local IP here. Go straight to number four and click do it now. This is the fun part. Click add custom Name this whatever you want. You can name it Lewis Dude 97 if you want. Or just Lewis Dude. Set this to TCP. Set the first one to TCP. And the port number is going to be the same for everybody. It's going to be 25565. The end port is going to be the exactly the same. 25565. Alright, click add. Now we're going to add another one. Name it the same thing as the first one. Just put a 2 after it, or 200, or whatever you want. Set this one as UDP, not TCP, but UDP. The ports are going to be the same, again, 25565, uh, 25565. Click Add. Go ahead and exit out of this, and now we're going to update the router. For some reason, it always gets stuck right here for me. I guess because I don't have a password. If it does, just click submit. 
and it'll do all this stuff for you. It's doing it all right here. Once it gets to the bottom, it'll say done. All commands finished. There you go. Click exit. And this is the part where you pray. You just pray. And if you don't believe in God, I'm sorry, but keep praying. Click begin. If it works, oh, there we go. Success and success. That's what you need to see. If it says failed, try it again. Start the whole process over. Uh, well, we made a Minecraft server port forwarded. Next, we're going to open up your little folder here. And now we click the start server. It should generate level. It'll make a bunch of folders for you. And once it says this right here, you can go ahead and exit out of it. Go to admins. And type in your name. And if you want, you can type in my name. It'll make my day. Click save. Now we're going to go to server. You may have to... You might have to uh, open with notepad. You can try clicking on it. If it doesn't work, then just open it with notepad. Alright, this is the message of the day. So set this to... Uh, I eat news. And the server name is going to be LewisDude97. This right here, if you set this to false, only people that have your uh, URL code will be able to get on your server. So leave this to true if you want a lot of people. Never change the port number. Or it won't work. Um, go ahead and exit out of this. Save. Now you're going to go to the external URL. Copy this code. Your code's going to be different. Once you did that, Go ahead and start server again. It'll load it up. And it'll put it on the Minecraft server. It'll put it on the Minecraft site. I mean. So now we go to paste. Paste that code that you just had. Click enter. You may want to log in. If you don't log in, this probably won't work. I'm not really sure. Alright. It should say, Lewis297, I eat noobs. And it will be my server. Just wait and see. Oh, by the way, while I'm waiting, if you guys want to go ahead and rate 5 stars, since this is practically the only Minecraft server inform informative, yeah, informative video on YouTube, then yeah. I decided to make it, because there's like one other video. Alright, there we go. This is your new server. Uh, you can watch my other videos. I'll be posting one how to make an MC LOL server, which is really cool. Uh, it's got a bunch of commands. You can add zombies and all kind of stuff. Uh, it's a lot better than this one, pretty much. It's what I use for my server. Uh, well, thanks again. For watching, uh, please subscribe and rate and tell your friends. Thanks.